Okay, we gotta do a whole episode in one day. And here's the thing. We have a weird situation, because whenever we play quiet music in the background, YouTube screws us. So we're making zero dollar roonies off these videos, but we don't care, we're just documenting, we're having fun. And we got a little special surprise around this corner right here. Woo! Whoa! It's Liam! Bonjour, comment ça va tout bien, So anyways, you guys remember Liam. I'm competing against him in what, maybe six plus weeks or so? Uh, we haven't had him in the videos for a while, but he's back. We're going to do some weigh-ins, maybe. Um, give you a little bit of an update. Yeah, he's been doing yoga. This guy like wanted to quit, but I said, buddy, you got a hundred bucks on the line. You guys want to see a big boy? Yeah. Let's this is what it. happens when you weigh in in the middle of the day with your shoes on. Very factual. 226. It's almost like I'm not 213 every other what time of the day. What about 2.5 kilograms? Jeez. So what I'm saying is, if you ain't in the middle of the day, who knows? You drink a lot of water, food, whatever, you blow it up. I'm wearing shoes, belt, so that's why we like the morning. You know, no clothes, after going to the bathroom, consistent. Can you get your foot off there? Oh, sorry, is it on? Yes. Last time you were? Like 201, 202, yeah. something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was that, a few so. weeks ago, I think three weeks ago that we lifted. The I face. too long. Oh, oh, boy, oh. you thick! Boy, you thick! 209.8. 209. Jeez! So, you're getting up there, buddy. There we go. We're, we, we almost weigh as much as a small rhinoceros, so. Jeez. Like, this is the last week we're gonna use this. I'm gonna start showing my spreadsheet, but since we're here, you know, just keep it consistent for now. 183.8. And gone down. Yeah, I think that's actually a bit lower than last week. Yeah, I think I need to up my calories, I guess. <laughs> Does that good make you a little on top? Good set, man. Does that make you a little? That was way better than your first, eh? Yeah. It took I, a it was bit, probably because uh, it was too big of a jump. Yeah, too big of a jump, but I mean, lightweight, baby. Come on. Jeez! So Liam, we're getting a lot of ish for not interviewing you enough. So, where do you think you stand right now? How is your bench relative to his? Oh, horrible. Okay, yeah. So what are you I looking- say, I would say right now, I could probably hit, see, we need to use kilograms because this is Canada and people are, seem to be getting very mad on the YouTube videos about this. Yeah. You guys only use pounds. I think Kyle will be able to hit about 127 and a half to 130 bench, which is like 277 to like 280-ish. I agree with that. Uh, I'm probably gonna hit like 255, maybe 260. Okay, you're close, whatever. Um, squat, Kyle thinks he's gonna squat 460. That's that's a bit ambitious. At least. At, there we go, at least. At least. I would we'll say see I'm, how this AMRAP looks say today. I'm gonna squat 200 kilos, which is 441. That's a very realistic number. I'll do more. I, th I think he's gonna go 205 to 207 and a half. Okay, okay, and then where do you sit on the deadlifts? I'm pulling at least 550. Kyle won't even touch 500. <laughs> oh! So it's like, hey, hey, hey. Oh! Okay. I know for a fact his deadlift will be mine. Mark my words. I will probably be about 10 kgs away from him, if that. I know he's gonna if overshoot it, he's myself. gonna go way too heavy, my bench is gonna destroy his, and I know for a fact my squat is gonna be at least, maybe like 20 kg difference, it's gonna, it's gonna, be, gonna be huge. Let me do my sets. Oh, let's go big boy. Let's go, let's go big chatter. Okay. I'm motivated now. Okay. Okay. Okay! I'm motivated now! <laughs> People are gonna kill me. That's, you went for it, right? That's yeah. what AMRAP is. I'll take it. I thought you had that last one, but. It's supposed to be slow. Always set this, these bad boys up when you don't get a spot. Set the safety. Would have been 5.30. Oh, yeah. I got 8. Oh, that's 5.28. Right. I mean, that's after three, uh, four full working sets, so. 
and deadlifts. Yeah. So that's what happened. Uh, looks. I can't there we even go. see it. Well, I can see it, but that was when Josh uh, just dropped the bar. What happens when you don't fully commit to failing? Jeez. So you, when you fail, you gotta push it off and lean forward. But like my shin's weird, so I didn't want to lean all the way forward. It's because I didn't, it went and rolled down your back. When you have 425 pounds on skin, it's gonna cut. So you learn the hard That's way That's a beauty sometimes. mark. Okay, so we actually just finished filming everything, but I'm like, whoa, we didn't even talk about our AMRAPs here. So, overall, I'm pretty happy. Usually, AMRAPs, you know, I'll be a little careful. I was pretty sick this week, uh, so I didn't want to really overextend myself. I think I could have maybe grinded out that eight, um, but you know, sometimes when your body says no, you're like, eh, because sometimes when you're pushing it to that true 100%, that's when you can kind of muck something up and get injured. So, I was just pretty happy to play it smart. Eight would have put me at about 530, which is where I should be, but I really excel in that one to three rep range. And when it's a lot of volume, I don't necessarily love it. Uh, so it's a really good sign though because everything's peaking up nicely. I'm hitting my numbers. I'm feeling comfortable and I'm really expecting to hit some good, uh, you know, big lifts and even we were talking on our podcast. Um, I'm not sure if you listen to that, but check it out. Fit Healthy Happy Podcast. We'll put a link first one in the description down below. We've just been dropping some videos. Every Monday we do like Mailbox Monday where we answer everyone's questions and then Thursday we kind of go through a topic. But I was saying how for my quote, like we do a quote of the week, how it's not, like no one cares what you did yesterday, it's what you can do today. So you know, I always talk about, oh, I've done this in the past, this number, my highest squat's 545, et cetera, et cetera. So instead of thinking like that, and you know, just trying to get up to my old numbers, I wanna burst through them. So it's really focused me in, you know, I'm really hungry, I'm trying to get really focused during my workouts and hit some big numbers. So that's a quick little breakdown where I'm at. Yeah. There we go, buddy. Oh. Oh. I called it. That was good. One at eight. Yeah, I'm just uh, super excited. So 160 kg. Um, I told myself, literally, I woke up. I told myself I was going to get eight. I texted Liam behind the camera that I was going to get eight yesterday, and I got eight. So that's really good. Um, honestly, I didn't squat for close to a year of actual like heavy barbell squatting. So I really do want to hit like an actual huge PR. You know, Liam keeps doubting me, but it's all fun and games. But at the end of the day, um, I'm just excited. Things are moving in the right direction. And uh, yeah, let's just keep the good times rolling. So what's the number you want to hit? I want to hit 475, which is, uh, you know the kgs. Like 215, 212 yeah. and a half, 215. And at the end of the day, I always say like, honestly, if I tell myself I'm going to hit 435, which I've done quite a few times, um, I'm just not going to be excited. I'm not going to push myself here. I probably would have gotten five or six. So at the end of the day, I always say to shoot for numbers that are a little bit out of reach that are just going to kind of motivate you and push you to kind of excel within the actual training phase. Not to the point where you just beat yourself up. And one other thing is for these AMRAPs, because we're posting a lot of them, we're not just doing this every single day. Like this is properly calculated. You know, it's um, every couple of weeks. It's, um, you know, not every single day. So don't go into the gym every day and just put on, you know, a bunch of weight and just start repping it out for AMRAPs because that's uh, a recipe for a disaster. That was bad. Okay, so right now we are on week six of training, but week five of videos. And the reason is because last week we were taking a deload. So this video at the end is gonna be more about just how to recover properly, how to make sure you stay in it the long run and just succeed uh, at the end of the full 12 week cycle or whatever it is. Number one is just take proper deload, proper rest. So sometimes less is more. So every four weeks for us personally, we're taking a deload, which is one week of decreasing our numbers, backing off from compounds or even staying away from the gym. On top of that, we're not working out every single day. We're doing about five days. Everything is properly calculated. I'm a little bit tired here, but you just gotta be able to properly recover um, from everything that you're doing. It's not just about hammering, hammering, hammering to the point where you can't lift anymore. It's about proper percentage-based training, and that's about it. Number two, I feel like I brought this up a lot, but that's because it's something I really believe in. A lot of people think powerlifting, strength training, bodybuilding is about maxing out all the time, you know, always pushing it to the limits, but you know, when you overextend, it's hard to recover to get to that baseline. 
So you want to make sure you're at a point where you can actually, you know, maintain your workload. And that's why piloting can cycle. So you know, you ramp up and you ramp down. You ramp, right? You don't want to just constantly go up because you're going to hit a wall, you're going to fall flat, and you're going to be hovering at the subpar like 90, 80% of your potential, right? So it's important to really manage that volume, work smart, work in phases, and you know, have some periodization. Uh, it's going to make a big difference in terms of your recovery. Numero trois, as the French say, is sleep, uh, recovering that. So you know, we're big on the pillars. So you're balancing your fitness, so your workouts, you know, all that stuff in the gym, your nutrition, and then your lifestyle, right? So if you're a really bad lifestyle, you're not getting sleep, you know, you're not taking time to rest, you're not, you know, giving yourself breaks mentally to take care of all of that, you know, putting yourself in the right mindset and framework or, you know, managing stress, it's gonna add up. But the one I really wanna focus on is sleep. Uh, you know, it's super important for the body. A lot of people think they can function on less, but study after study after study has shown the benefit of it. You know, especially the heavier I lift like this and going into this season, January, February, I really tend to try to get more and more sleep. It gets a little easier when it's constantly dark outside, but you wanna maximize that. That's your body's time to recover, heal, utilize it, don't think you're above it. Try to maintain those consistent times. You know, I'm not gonna lecture you on a million things for sleep. Uh, we have a really good graphic, we'll put on the screen here, just some things that could potentially help you improve that sleep. And number four, this is probably my biggest one that's really helped me out throughout this training cycle. I always used to be in pain, my shoulders would hurt, hips would be crazy tight. I just really did not like powerlifting for quite a few years actually. But now I'm just absolutely loving it. And I have thanks to uh, this Hypervolt, not sponsored, but if you don't have access to one of these um, massage guns, you can use a foam roller, it's super cheap. Lacrosse ball does pretty much the same thing for like five bucks. But basically you just wanna really work on those points that are just extremely tight, you know, the glutes, um, you know, the shoulders, the chest, everything like that, that's just constantly being hammered. And I just find 15 to 30 minutes per day I dedicate, and I highly recommend you guys doing the same, and your body will feel amazing and recover um, to the best of your ability. All right, thank you everyone for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to see more of me, thumbs up, or maybe thumbs it down, don't thumbs it down. No, comment. Comment, comment. subscribe, do all the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> cringe.